Welcome back to another episode of Eat Tree at Home. I'm Greg Pezza, and as stated in our first episode, I'm going to be your all things dough and pizza and flour related consultant. Um, and so in our first episode, if you haven't seen that yet, I recommend you do. We talked about baker's percentages. Um, it's a very fundamental thing that you should probably start with in order to understand the best ways to make pizza, particularly to make pizza dough. Um, and today I'm going to build upon that a little bit and talk to you about yeast, which is one of your essential ingredients in making pizza dough. Um, you might see in many different places uh, yeast listed in different ways because there are basically different kinds of yeast. So the three basic kinds of yeast that we're going to talk about are active dry yeast, fresh yeast, and instant yeast. There is another category that includes often kind of a starter, which is a natural yeast, like a sourdough starter. We're not going to tackle that right now. We maybe will get there at another time. Anyway, so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about your yeast and how you might see that listed and which one you might prefer. Typically what you're going to see when you see a pizza dough recipe is ADY listed, and that refers to active dry yeast. It's the most common kind of yeast. It's the yeast you'll find in the grocery store, uh, and it's most readily available. Um, the creme de la creme of yeast, if you will, is fresh yeast. Now, fresh yeast typically comes in blocks like this. Um, it is fantastic. It often produces, I think, the most flavorful results. Um, you know, some of the real kind of... Um, disciples and pioneers of, of pizza making swear by fresh yeast. And uh, you'll never go wrong with it. Problem is, it's really hard to find, number one. And number two, it's highly perishable. So um, if you don't use it after you open it in a couple of days, you can refrigerate it, but if you don't use it in a couple of days, you're gonna lose that product. And uh, you know, it's not necessarily the most practical, especially at home. Uh, and then the last one that I think honestly a lot of people sleep on is the instant yeast. You will most commonly see active dry yeast and then you'll also hear the people often refer to as kind of the purest uh, want to use the fresh yeast. But you don't hear a lot of talk about the instant yeast. And honestly, I think the instant yeast actually gives a bit more of a flavorful uh, result than the active dry yeast and it mimics a little bit better that of the fresh yeast. So. Those are your yeasts. There's one other thing that I think you might want to know about them before you dive into which kind you will use, and that is the conversions, right? Because what you'll typically see listed is active dry yeast. So how do you convert that if you would prefer to use one of these? Well, the simple formula is if you see an active dry yeast listed uh, in grams, which it should be, honestly, then you double that for this fresh yeast. When it comes to what you see listed in active dry yeast in grams as well, you would basically use about the same of the instant yeast, but maybe about 90, 95% of it. If you use the exact same amount, that's fine. You're not gonna have any real problems there. So those are the conversions. You kind of decide which yeast you want. Oh, let me tell you one other thing about, about how they react a little bit, because if you are trying to be a home pizza maker, um, then what you're gonna wanna do is uh, often allow your dough to ferment in the uh, refrigerator for a couple of days, honestly. That's where active dry yeast gets you the best results. Instant yeast gets you similar results, and I still think a little bit better if you are fermenting overnight or even 48 hours, but instant yeast also allows for a same day dough that is really good. Fresh yeast, as I said, will give you a real pure, delicious product, um, but it's got a lot of practicality issues. So that's all for today. And in the very near future, we're going to give you some dough recipes and start making some dough. Thank you.